What's going on guys? This is Matt with Longshot Ballistics and today I've got the JK Armament Solvent Trap that I have just got a couple tax stamps for. So I have actually ordered this a couple months ago and uh, just now got the tax stamps approved so I was good to finally get it engraved and drilled out. Uh, if you're not familiar with a Form 1 solvent trap, it, you're basically turning a solvent trap into a silencer slash suppressor. Technically on the form it's listed it is a silencer but most people call it a suppressor uh, but the advantage to doing a form 1 over like a form 4 is the wait time you are only looking at anywhere from 30 to 45 days this did take a little bit longer uh, I actually have two because the first one I made a mistake and went with my own model number so when you go through the form and I'm probably gonna make a separate video on a walkthrough tutorial of how to do your form ones for both silencers as well as SBRs but um, when you go through that be sure to take a uh, predefined model from the list you can certainly make your own model but it will go into a pending research state uh, that pending research for one of mine lasted I think a little over a month and um, ultimately like a week later I realized my mistake and went ahead and resubmitted another one uh, with a predefined model which went into the uh, database I mailed out my fingerprints right away and uh, they were approved within a day of each other so uh, again this is the solvent trap you can see it uh, drilled out finally I've got the Liberty booster on the end this is actually gonna mate to my FN 509C uh, compact but uh, we'll hop over here take a quick look at how it kind of breaks down and uh, then we're gonna do some testing and see how it sounds okay so here we've got a little bit closer up view of all the parts here uh, I've got my FN 509C with the half inch by 28 threaded barrel again this is the uh, Liberty booster this is basically used to cycle uh, the feed for the pistol itself uh, you can't direct thread those uh, not like a rifle uh, you can see the cones which uh, there are eight of the cones that are included so it's a modular design you can take those off you can shorten them up up or if you want to keep it longer you can do so but here's one of them just taken off and you can see that that is basically what you're drilling out when you get the kit um, all of this is going to be filled in and then you have to use um, their jig which their jig is very simple to use which I did want to make a video on it but honestly this being my first uh, form one and drilling it out uh, I wanted to get it go ahead and do it off camera and I'm gonna make a separate video but uh, the way these are designed I'll just kind of show you um, this actually just screws into the jig and then you have the other side you make sure it's facing up with the JK armament let's see if that'll focus in yeah there we go um, so that'll screw in here <clears throat> And then you have that basically set up. Your drill bit goes through and you drill your holes. So for the end cap, I actually have three separate caps here that came with the uh, special order kit that I did. Uh, they're doing a limited run in FDE, so really had to go with that kit for the FN. I think it matches really well, but uh, let's go ahead and take this back apart. All right. And I'll go ahead and get this assembled. It's a little bit uh, oily still, so I want to wipe my hands off. I will say one of the nice things with the uh, JK Armament kits is uh, they actually, if you have a 3D printer, they do have the step files that you can actually download this wrench. They, they sell it separate, but this is just used uh, to tighten these down when you're going through it. You can just slide that over, it catches. Uh, but it's real nice that they include that as an option rather than buying it. You can just print it and take advantage of it that way. Um, then this is a piece for that. That's uh, basically your blast chamber. And uh, that's basically the kit. But yeah, we'll go ahead and put it on the uh, gun here and take some shots downrange, see how it sounds with and without the suppressor. Okay, so here is just an up-close look at everything. 
like I said, I think it turned out really good. The colors match. Uh, everything looks nice and professional for really a do-it-yourself kit here. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, take this down range and see how it sounds with and without the suppressor. We've made it to the range and we're going to try the JK solvent uh, trap that we've uh, form one into a suppressor. Uh, to start, we're going to just use some regular 115 grain ammo just to shoot it, see how it sounds, and then we'll compare it with uh, 115 grain and then 147 grain uh, subsonic ammo. So let's see how it sounds. All right, and we're clear. Go ahead and put the suppressor on. And I will say that the FN comes with uh, two different springs. I haven't actually changed this out, so this is the regular spring. So hopefully everything runs right. Uh, I've taken a few shots just to try it out so far and, and see how it sounds and haven't had any malfunctions yet, but. All right, so we'll start with 115 grain. Try five rounds here and see how it runs. All right, we'll clear that. Okay, now we have the 147 grain subsonic ammo. We'll see how that sounds. Run about five rounds through it and get a comparison here. Definitely quite a bit quieter with the subsonic rounds, but uh, so far I'm really impressed with it. Uh, it's just drilled out, that's not clipped yet. Uh, you can actually clip the cones for anywhere from about 5 to 10 dB of additional um, sound loss there. So play with it, uh, maybe clip it, try it again. I don't have a dB meter, that's uh, something I'll probably pick up here, but um, yeah, we'll get one of those, uh, really get a true comparison of the difference and uh, go from there. But anyway, if you like the video, uh, please like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.